And only exclusive tonight. The recount has begun in the race for Florida Senate seat District 37. It began early this morning, and here's why. The race between Republican Ileana Garcia and incumbent Democratic Senator Jose Javier Rodriguez is separated by just 31 votes. And tonight we're learning more about the third candidate in that race who managed to garner more than 6,000 votes without campaigning. Local 10 investigator Glenna Milberg did some digging and has more from Miami-Dade Election Headquarters in Doral. Alexis Rodriguez is a real person. He just never acted like a real candidate. No campaigning, no fundraising, and we found evidence to suggest he might have been a planted candidate, a shill, and more than that, part of a larger network of planted candidates in Senate races across Florida. Alexis Rodriguez isn't here because he doesn't live here. Why does people always keep on coming over here asking for a guy that doesn't live here? Well, because Alexis Rodriguez wrote this false home address under oath when he qualified to run for state Senate. Hi, looking for Alexis Rodriguez. Yeah, Alex is in here. Hold Alex. on a minute. I'll call you right back. Rodriguez okay. lied again to us hours after this visit. We learned that was Alex Rodriguez. Do you know he ran for Senate? Yeah, I know. What we don't know is why Rodriguez had a sudden urge to run for Senate District 37 and how, with little or no effort, ended up the apparent spoiler. Incumbent Democrat Jose Javier Rodriguez, notice the same last name, and Republican challenger Ileana Garcia are in a recount a few dozen votes apart. When we started looking into campaign documents, we found these connections and similarities to other third party candidates in other races around the state. I'm going to tell you all about those, but first, meet one of them. You're not Celso? I am it took a while okay. for Celso Alfonso to come clean. He said he dreamed of public service as a child, so at 81, suddenly decided to run for Senate District 39, which Republican Ana Maria Rodriguez won over Democrat Javier Fernandez. Who paid for your flyers? I don't have any flyers. Alfonso does have flyers from the same Central Florida mail house as, yes, Alexis Rodriguez, paid for by a political action committee called Our Florida. That packs one and only expenditure. Who paid for them? Uh, well, we did. We, did, we, did, we have uh, like $2,000 that we put it on it. And who, so you paid for your own flyers? Right. But that's not on your campaign expense account? No. It's not now. And I saw, uh, now it's over. What else do campaign reports for both Alfonso and Rodriguez show? Both filed as no party affiliation, but records show they were both registered Republicans. They qualified on the same day last June, listing identically patterned email addresses. Neither campaigned nor fundraised. Both had flyers with typically Democratic issues. Our Florida PAC that funded them has one contributor listed as proclivity with an address that is this UPS store in Atlanta. And that is where the money trail goes dark. Important to say that nothing about what the PACs did, the contributions, the mystery donors, nothing about that is illegal, perfectly legal under Florida campaign finance laws. Uh, in the recount that's going on here for the next couple of days in Senate District 37, Alex Rodriguez got 3% of the votes, 6,300 plus voters voted for a candidate who they knew nothing about. I'm Glenna Milberg in Doral, Local 10 News.